Time to pull up a chair. We've got another great story for you today in the R Lounge. Some people say weddings bring out the worst in people. Family drama even sometimes erupts when nothing was present before. Tensions are high and a lot of money is at stake. Other people love weddings. They love love. They want to be involved with the wedding planning from every aspect and help wherever possible. Today on our lounge, let's choose love over hate. I accidentally caused a war between my family and my brother's wife's family with one innocent text message. Original post posted on May 31st, 2023. I accidentally caused a war between my family and my brother's wife's family with one innocent text message. So my brother's wedding happened two days ago and it turned into a complete chaos, which I know even though I wasn't there. You might wonder why I didn't attend the wedding if it's my brother's. Well, it's because of his wife's family. He did send me an invitation to the wedding because he wanted me there, but his fiance told him I couldn't attend because I had a boyfriend. You might be confused, but I'm a man. A bisexual man to be exact, and I have a boyfriend who I wanted to bring to the wedding. She said even though she doesn't have a problem with that, and he doesn't have a problem with that, her extremely religious parents who already forced her to do the wedding in a church would most likely banish us from the wedding and cause trouble between our families. After she told him that my brother told me I couldn't attend and told me why, you might think I was angry. The truth is I was relieved. I hate going to big events with lots of people because my social anxiety, and I already was used to not being able to attend certain events because of my sexuality, so it was nothing I haven't heard before. So, at the day of the wedding, I stayed home with my boyfriend. It's worth mentioning my parents apparently didn't know I wasn't attending the wedding, I was chilling at home cuddling with my boyfriend when I suddenly got a text message from my parents asking me where I was because they couldn't find me at the wedding party. I told them I wasn't attending the wedding and if my brother hasn't told them anything. They said no and asked me what happened. I didn't say any reason to lie so I sent them a text message telling them exactly why. Now I have to admit I don't know exactly what happened after I sent them this message because they read it but didn't reply. And why do they care in the first place? They didn't notice I wasn't there before until the wedding was already over. They only noticed when the wedding party started. However, apparently my parents talked to my brother about it and all of a sudden my absence was the main topic of the wedding party. From what I heard, two fronts formed. On the one hand, my parents and the rest of my family against the family of my brother's wife. And apparently he as a husband now felt compelled to take her side and tried to argue in her favor. It's crazy to think that I was just sitting at home living my best life with my boyfriend while all this crap went down on his wedding. The wedding party was ruined and my brother appeared on my door angrily screaming at me why I felt the need to ruin his wedding. I was confused and asked him what happened and he told me everything. I told him it wasn't my intention. I just told our parents what happened because they didn't know and wanted to know where I was and I thought he told them beforehand. He screamed at me that I ruined his wedding. I told him it's not my fault he wasn't honest with them. I just respected their wish to not attend the wedding. I couldn't know it would go down like this because like I said, I couldn't attend several events before because of my sexuality and my parents never said anything about it so I thought it would be the same thing here. But I gotta admit, it's kinda sweet that my parents and the rest of my family stood up for me. They haven't done it before. That's a more than welcome change. But I still feel kinda bad because apparently I ruined the wedding party. You didn't ruin the wedding party at all, OP, and you shouldn't feel bad. They're the ones that didn't want you there and as a result, they need to take responsibility for their choices. And with weddings, you aren't going to make everybody happy. With you being the brother, they should have expected something like not inviting you to blow up on them. But at the same time, a wedding really isn't a place for drama. However, your parents handled the news from you is on them. If they escalated it, that's not on you. It's pretty disrespectful and such an old way of thinking to not invite flesh and blood because of who they choose to love. I'm sorry. Update 1 posted on June 2nd, 2023. Update. I accidentally caused a war between my family and my brother's wife with one innocent text message. Didn't think I'd give an update, but many interesting things happened. So after my brother's visit, his wife and him went to honeymoon and the way the wedding party went might have been even worse than I imagined. What happens now is incredible. When I said in the main post that two fronts had formed, I only meant that metaphorically, of course, but it's no longer that. While nothing much interesting happened in the first two days afterwards, the terror started as soon as my brother and his wife went on their honeymoon. My mom and my dad visited me and told me how the wedding party escalated and they were so close to physical violence. I thought it was funny at first, but this truly bothers me. I also want to point that you did a great job of convincing me it's not my fault, but hearing my parents' side, still gave me a bad feeling in my stomach. However, like I said, the terror started shortly after they went to their honeymoon. And when I say terror, I mean that my sister-in-law's family found both my Facebook and Instagram account and started spamming me with hateful messages. I received insults and hateful messages from various different accounts who all had one thing in common. 
They all had somewhat of a Christian theme, and all of them had the same last name. So it wasn't hard to find out whose accounts it was, mainly because I don't know my sister-in-law's family at all. I only know her, and I know her parents were homophobic Christians. But whatever. They not only started attacking me, they also found the account of my boyfriend over my account because we're linked as a couple, and started to send him the same messages. The messages contained, on one side, typical bigot stuff like, You're burning in hell for all your sins. One even called me and my boyfriend, Two devils in disguise. The other side were just blatant insults. You get the idea. I called my parents and told them what they were doing. Then, I sent a text message to my brother with screenshots of the messages his wife's family sent me, to which he replied that I shouldn't disturb him with that his honeymoon as I already destroyed his wedding party. I couldn't believe it. He was just like them. He did send me an apology after my mom told me she called him, but none of this is the main reason I'm giving you this update this early. Because I got a call this morning from an unknown number. I hesitated because I thought it was one of them. And I was right, but it was none of the people who insulted me. I heard a woman's voice who introduced herself as the half-sister of my brother's wife. She said it didn't go unnoticed what her family was doing and she wanted to apologize for them. I told her I'm not going to tell anyone in her family about this and that I don't blame her for her family's actions. She thanked me and hung up. I don't know why, but I have this feeling she only did this to protect her family from being reported. My mother wrote to me earlier that she wants to report the insults and the harassment of these people and that she demands for my brother to divorce my wife or she will disinherit him from her will because that's not how she raised him. A little radical in my opinion, but I understand where she's coming from. The entire thing escalated so much, it's unbelievable. Thank y'all for the support on my first post. I don't understand why people send the hate messages. They're so small-minded. I'm so sorry, OP. It's disgusting behavior. You aren't bothering them at all, and what you and your partner do and how you live your life is none of their business. And frankly, their opinion doesn't matter. But the hate is uncalled for and should be reported. You and your partner shouldn't have to put up with that kind of disrespect. In between updates, OP posted this on his profile. Why am I so casual about this entire situation? Some of you were wondering why I seem so calm and casual in the update when I'm discriminated against. The truth is that I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend for three years now, and the things that happen now are nothing compared to what I've been through. I receive hateful messages almost daily, not only from their accounts, but in general. And I learned to ignore that. There have been way worse situations. Such as when my boyfriend went to visit his family and I couldn't go with him. We kissed each other goodbye on the train station and when the train left and no one saw it, a group of guys attacked me. I was sent to the hospital because of severe injuries. Just to give you an idea what I had to deal with in the past. And don't get me wrong, we will report my sister-in-law's family, but what they are doing is nothing I haven't seen a thousand times before. I'm so sorry, OP. I wish the world was a much nicer place. People should be able to live their lives without fear of being attacked or in danger. Update 2, posted on June 12th, 2023. It's been a few days. First of all, me and my boyfriend are fine. Luckily for us, they didn't go any further than their text messages. My mom filed a report against them. I don't know the current situation about that as I haven't filed the report myself. The reason I update you is a different one. First of all, one person in my sister-in-law's family is actually going to testify in my favor and against her family. It really takes courage to do so. It's the same person that called me in the last update. Somehow they found out that she is into women. No reason to hide it anymore. However, she said she's fine and is going to stay at a friend's house. I have so much respect for what she does. Imagine the strength you need to testify against your own family. I now feel bad for assuming she only called me to save her family from being reported. More importantly, what is the current situation with my brother? Well, my mom talked to him and told him to leave his wife or she will disinherit him from her will. He decided to stay with his wife and my mom made her threat come true. He's no longer in her will. My father did the same. When I visited them, I also told that I wish that this entire situation went different. They assured me it's not my fault, but I feel like if it wasn't for me, then my family wouldn't be ripped apart like this. I haven't talked to my brother since then. My boyfriend feels similar. He also told me he kind of feels responsible for all this chaos. I assured him it's not his fault, but honestly, I wasn't even sure if I could say this in my position. On the other hand, it was my sister-in-law's family's bigotry that ruined everything, and everything would have been fine if I could have just attended. But now it's time for me to grow distant to the situation. We see what the report will do. I followed your advice to document everything. The insulting and harassing messages continued until two days ago. So I have much to say about them. Unfortunately, homophobia is still very much normalized in our society. I already said it in a post in my profile, but the reason I'm so calm and casual about the situation is the simple fact that I'm used to the situations like this. They don't get to me anymore. 
If I let any insult get to me, I wouldn't make it for a long time. It's a coping mechanism. I've been into situations where I was sent into the hospital because I kissed my boyfriend in public, so insults and harassment like theirs is nothing I haven't seen before. I want to say thank you for all your support on my first two posts. It's disgusting to know that your brother can support his wife who has a family full of such hatred. Good for your mother. She's showing them that their behavior and that hate is not to be tolerated. Update 3 posted on August 22nd, 2023. Final update. I think some of y'all are waiting for an update, so here I am. Keep in mind that this update will probably be the last one. So the last time I told you my mother was pressing charges against them, and to my surprise, we won. They weren't going to jail or anything, but they had to pay for their actions. Literally. There was one incident where my sister-in-law's dad was actually trying to find out where I lived and asked my brother who told him. Only God knows what he would have done to us if we had still lived there. But in the same time span of the last two months, me and my boyfriend moved to a different place, which my brother didn't know anything of. Also, their social media accounts were deleted. However, I don't know if this was part of their punishment or if they did it themselves. My mom has also carried out the threat towards my brother and disinherited him from her will. After he came back from his honeymoon, he begged her to put him in again. She said only if he apologized to me. She invited me and my boyfriend over and my brother sat in the living room with this mad look on his face. She made him apologize, but I didn't accept this apology because I could tell it wasn't sincere. He did it because he had to and not because he was actually sorry. I told my brother that I'm disappointed in him for who he became. Before that, we had this huge bond, usually never judged each other for stuff like this, and all of a sudden, he has such a problem with me having a boyfriend. I just don't get it. I told him that I missed the old him. He didn't respond to anything. He just sat there quietly staring at the bottom. After I finished, he just got up and left. This was the last time I spoke with him, and it's already been a few weeks since this happened. My parents have paid much more attention to the discrimination I faced since this incident. They wanted to learn more about the problems I face as a queer person. I really love them. My dad even got a bisexual pride flag for me and asked if he could hang it in our bedroom. I love that I have such great parents. I just wished for my brother to become the person he once was. By the way, since the case with my sister-in-law's family is over, I haven't heard anything about their lesbian daughter. She supported us during the process, but we lost contact afterwards and I just hope she's fine. Let's get one comment from the community. I'm glad that OP's parents came through for him. He seems so sweet and I hope he knows that it's not his fault for the rift. His brother caused the rift by showing him that he is homophobic and marrying his homophobic wife. Not to mention the fact that he gave OP's address to a person who is violently homophobic. What the heck? That is not safe at all. The comment is completely right. The brother decided to side with hate and he's suffering the consequences of that. It's refreshing to know that your parents are so supportive of you and are willing to do whatever they can to prove that and protect you, OP. He clearly knew who his wife and her family was before marrying her and blatantly went ahead with a relationship and her anyways. That's very disheartening. I'm sorry for all that you've been through, OP. You're so strong and you're an absolute inspiration for people who are unfortunately going through the same thing. What do you make of this? What do you think of OP's brother's choice to not invite him to or his partner? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for following along today. Before you go, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you have something you want to share regarding today's content, we want to hear it. See you soon in the R Lounge.